Having danced to the Tories' reckless Brexit tune, voting to trigger Article 50 without securing any conditions and effectively handing Theresa May a blank cheque, we finally see a softer and more considered approach from Labour. But Labour's plan is still confused and contradictory. They promise to guarantee existing rights to all EU nationals living in the UK, but say they will end free movement. At the same time, they want to retain the benefits of the single market and the customs union. Taking a tough stance on freedom of movement is incompatible with membership of the single market, something Keir Starmer, Labour's Brexit spokesperson, himself acknowledged. Greens believe that retaining our membership of the single market is the best way to protect jobs and workers' rights. And we will firmly defend free movement, especially for the young. I want young people to continue to enjoy the benefits enjoyed by their parents and grandparents, the right to travel, study and work across Europe. Like Labour, we would ditch the Great Repeal Bill, but we would replace it with a Great Reform Bill to deliver a fair and proportional election system, a democratic House of Lords and a written constitution so that we know what our democratic rights are. And we must put the environment centre stage in the Brexit process. With the Tories plotting a bonfire of regulations protecting our air and water quality, safeguarding valuable wildlife habitats and helping to tackle climate change, we need a new Environmental Protection Act and a new Clean Air Act to ensure environmental protections are maintained and enhanced. Like Labour, we want Parliament to be given a truly meaningful vote on the final Brexit deal. But their reluctance to give British people the same right shows a disregard for democracy. Greens believe that the people of the UK must be given an opportunity to accept or reject the future that is on offer at the end of the two-year Article 50 process through a ratification referendum. For take back control to mean anything, it must give back control to the British people, providing them with a real say on our shared future.